Tom and Gary. I'm Georgie DeBoris. I play the character of Tom for the film A Bitter Lime. Tom is having a very boring life and he just wants to escape, experience adventure, experience life, escape his, his routine, his uh, boredom, and he just doesn't want to have the same life that his father has. Do you know how many people would kill for your career? Maybe I should come back when you get this sweet. No, no, don't go. No, no. My character, she's a very strong-willed kind of character. She knows what she wants, and when she doesn't get it, she's not afraid to find her own way to it. But I don't want to give too much away, because that would be spoilers. Kill me if I ever turn out like that. Bam! This film is all about escapism. Whether you can really escape the life you were born into, and the path that was mapped out for you, and what kind of social psychological implications this has. Hey, uh, if you want to compulsively binge eat later and forget about how shitty our lives are, I'll be right here. I thought it was great. I really, really enjoyed the story. I thought the performances were good. And I really enjoyed the fact that Diana was like a character in, in the whole thing. Giving people the experience and the chance to see what Diana is like, I think it's excellent. I think the comparison that is in the film is actually pretty accurate. The uh, shades of grey in LA, all the concrete, all the stuff that makes it very mundane in contrast with the colorful people both in heart and, and in culture. I am the taxi driver. I have been the male confidential friend and I've been taking them around all across Georgetown. Sir, were your items stolen? Tom was very, very disrespectful, and I had to put him to his place. I think you're being a bit rude. You don't call a detective rude. To make a film like this, I think you have to have an appreciation for other cultures, for just people in general, and how we all interact. Fucking police. Fuck the police. Yeah. Fuck the police, man. That role, it allows me to step out of bounds to perform. Go where my imagination probably have taken me before. All in all, it's a role that I would not trade for another. I think I'm in love. To have new experience, take on new challenge, etc. It is just beautiful being an actress and embracing another's personal identity and forgetting who you are. You're welcome. Beauty. The fact that it's a Rastafarian role, I find very interesting because of the intricate parts that I have to play. I think they're very vital and as such, very important to the movie. You know, I've been told many times that I'm a people's person. It has been really amazing seeing all the hard work that is being put into this production and its entirety. Don't get me wrong, there's an incredible amount of planning, incredible amount of pre-production, but there's only so much you can do in a country that is not our home country. Thanks to Melissa down there who made things just so incredibly um, open to us. For me, I like to make each individual person happy because happy people make a better film. Oh, do you know that you're standing on the gold and the diamonds? Uh -oh. Come on, please don't keep your eyes on the ground. <laughs> I had a feeling, you know. This set have not had a major problem, at least not as yet. <laughs> I mean, it's a film, so you're going to go through conflicts and issues, but that's part of it. That's what makes a great film. It was definitely challenging at times filming on location. It was very, very hot and humid, just out there. It's not the most comfortable, but I kind of like that about it. It made the entire experience something more, you know, because we were all doing this crazy thing together in this, this really awesome place that, you know, people don't usually see in the film. And I thought that was really special. You know, you really chose to mess things up.
Individually, we're all different. They're all different and each person have their own challenge. And film when you're working hours after hours, every person can become frustrated. One of my strengths in acting is being able to take on very emotional scenes where I have to like cry. My favorite part, I don't want to spill it out, the audience is just guessing what happens and is trying to find out what happened, what happened. Why don't you tell me what the hell happened? I have to do her face every day. I've come to learn her face and she's pleased with my work and I'm pleased with the work I'm doing on her. She plays her role so well. It's fun. It's, it's easy to like her or make her your favorite character from the film. It's fun and challenging getting to play a role that's very different from myself. I'll check up about you. We're all just trying to like make this art project, you know, the best that we can do our roles. There's just just a lot of community in that and, and coming together. And Whoa, hey, hold up now. It's a team. I've played professional sports. Like every team, you have good times, you have amazing times, you have bad times, but ultimately everyone helps each other to get the best result that we can. I've been pushing and challenging everyone else on, on the crew and they have been doing the same with me. So we ultimately want to make this the best art that we can. Normally, I like to do everything myself, you know? I mean, that's how I've had to do it. So relying on a team and having teamwork is just fundamental to producing a film. Tom was really excited and I'm not gonna lie, Georgie was really excited as well to be flying to a country that he's never gone before. I was really excited and scared at the same time, which adds to the whole excitement of Tom. I'm gonna stay right here. Action. What? You got a death wish or something, kid? Hey, hey, wait, wait, hey, come here. I like the place. We've been taken care of like kings and princes. <laughs> Just the people are very, very nice. So it was enjoyable. The experience of coming down to Guyana alone is worth everything. Uh, meeting you guys, getting to hang out with you, learning about your culture. <laughs> you guys are gonna be laughing forever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? My name is Mark. I'm Buddy. You're the Apple Squad. We interact. We socialize. We had so much going. Yeah, you know we got needs We like to be <laughs> around each other. We connect. Because, I mean, yes, we live in Guyana, most of us don't know each other, so we made new friends. <laughs> it's pretty exciting working with, you know, such an international and, and diverse team. It was very, very, very worth it. It's what could be like the best couple of days of my life. Because this is what I do, being here among the international cast, working as the makeup artist, it makes me fall in love with my job even more. Having to get all the correct outfit for the different scenes, there's a particular way to put it together. Everybody needs to work together in sequential form so that the project could be smooth. I would like to see more persons finding this art. It can only lead to bigger experiences. They're cutting me off, man. It opens the door for you know, other production teams, companies that want to do film, that wants to do music videos to come to Guyana. We have a team that is ready and capable to execute any task. Oh, it was a beautiful team. Everything worked out fine. I was a little hesitant at first, you know, because I just didn't know what to expect. And I guess that's uh, kind of like with most places that are out of the country. But after everything got set up and we started shooting and rolling, things worked out really fine. Y'all gonna cut this shit. <laughs> when we went to like the ministers, like the police and stuff for permission, they were like, oh, this is interesting and they, they would like to have more of this happening in Guyana. What the Bethlehem has already done for Guyana is open doors for more creative people to um, head in this direction. I'm actually moving to Guyana soon. Huh. Wow, where is that even? Where is Guyana? A lot of persons don't know where is Guyana. You chatting on Facebook and so forth. Where are you from? I'm from Guyana. Where is Guyana? What part of the map Guyana there? Once you come to Guyana here, you don't want to go back. What about the successful career you had going on back home? That's for sure all over.
and that also changed my lighting because it was a little bit boring type of lighting in LA but here because everything around here is so colorful that just makes the lighting more interesting so I think this place is perfect for the story One shot is going that way. Say what I'm saying already. Yeah. Joe Croyal. Max saw me in another show for AFI, uh, American Film Institute, and he liked my performance and uh, actually called me. I had my doubts. <laughs> but uh, when he kept calling and letting me know how the progress was going on the film, I decided, oh, you know, he's legitimate. And then he gave me a chance to go to Guyana, which I thought was exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And he also mentioned that we'd be shooting on location in Guyana, so I was like, yeah, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sounds great. It was a chance to put my acting skills to work in a very sometimes difficult environment because it was, you know, we were out there in the jungle, literally. <sighs> Uh, what, uh, what do you want me to say, um, apart from what I said? Stop, stop, stop. what's up, what's up? Nothing you don't already know. So the crew was super international, everybody came from all over the place. Not just Guyana and not just from America, but also from Singapore, Canada, Australia. Um, and you know, the, the whole thing, theme behind our crew was one love. Trust the Russ. Trust the Russ. Or actually, One Love is my favorite too. There's something about it that when you see people from all over the world being so artistic and full of life and passionate, that's very inspiring. Yeah. 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 Dancers, people that prior to this movie weren't part of the film industry, like myself. The true accomplishment of A Bit of Lame is it's one project that got so many different people from so many different backgrounds, from so many different parts of the world to work together for one collective goal. It's like building this family. I'm really appreciative of being able to be here because my career has taken me here. It's a blessing, really. You've got to work for it, but it's not even work. When it becomes an obsession and it becomes part of you, these things happen. That looks good on you. What was most interesting to me is the Guyanese actors, like the thief. Action. Okay. Turn it. This is me, man. It was nice to feel a sense of familiarity, but also to feel like I was in a different world. Learn some respect. You know for this. All right, all right. A lot of the Guyanese actors we use were theater actors or yeah. comedians. Max went and see the production of Nothing Till I have about seven at the Culture Center looking for actors. And I had the role to play of an immigration officer in Nothing Till I have about. And I had the very same attitude moving from a very low pitch to this high pitch. So he sees that in me and he decided we'll take Mars to be the detective and I think I suit the role good because when I put on my uniform and so forth I look as if I was really a detective in fact but I am not. I feel so much richer in knowledge both filmmaking artistically but mostly because of the people that I've met. I hope you guys, whoever watches this, it'll be a good introduction to a country it has a lot of beauty in terms of its culture, in terms of its people, in terms of some of the landscapes. And I, I hope you guys enjoy. It. I think it depicts a perfect scenario within the Guyanese society and the encounter of foreigners here. Sorry patrons, I'm vexed with you. It's just business. Anybody would be able to connect with it on some level and everybody would be able to appreciate it on some level. And everybody would have a good journey watching this film. It's a great contrast between tropical, beautiful environment, but then there's always this kind of like sinister thing in the background. And that's just really cool and really fun to watch. Processing of 
creating this score was quite interesting because um, I had to create around hundreds of different channels with freaky sounds and, and cool scene sounds and uh, from there building the picture of the main character throughout the film from A to B. Um, so it was very interesting for me and challenging as well. Working with Max on this film was very fun. I mean, he gave me almost complete freedom to do whatever I want. Of course, in the beginning, he just gave me like a basic guidelines of the overall feeling of the film and the main character and music he likes. And I took it from there. psychological trippy scenes, lots of room to really play up the emotion and excitement with sound design. It allowed us to really uh, t you know, have our own take on each individual character and the, the sort of flow of the film. A movie from Guyana, knowing that it's not local, is something major. I mean, it's not the first one, but I mean, I think this is the first international one if I look at it in that way and that is why I think it will boost the tourism industry in Guyana. Orin Duke is probably going to stand out the most because we're going to be out there in this in the wilderness and it's going to be crazy hot and we're going to be having fun and, and it's the last shot. There's going to be a lot of adrenaline that everyone's going to be feeling that day. Beautiful, beautiful country. We're here today shooting at this wonderful location and I highly encourage anyone that wants to visit this beautiful nature to do so because it's the highest single drop waterfalls in the planet and I don't think I need to say anything more than that just look at this wonderful site just come visit it three or four times higher than Niagara Falls you know my grandfather told me kite sure you're gonna go you know so I'm gonna do my family proud by by visiting and um, also get some amazing shots for the film The production value you cannot replace that you cannot this is not something you can build in Hollywood at a studio we couldn't have gotten these results if we were shooting in a studio in Los Angeles so it's definitely helped with the character development and it's helped really get the feel of what those characters would be experiencing because we're kind of experiencing it ourselves <laughs> Ultimately, I'd like to be an Oscar-winning actress, so some baby steps until we get to that big stage. I was the poster girl in some places. You'd see my picture in the background of the, the actual stars of the film. Also, I did have a small scene with Leon Cummins, where we acted as actors within the film. Honey, if you don't know how to please a woman, she's going to leave you. My first debut song, Sunshine, is also in the film. So I was pretty excited to have that collaboration also included in this film. My band, Feed the Flames, it's such a huge privilege for us to be featured in an international film. I wouldn't change a thing because I think the experience has been challenging in fun ways. I wouldn't want to take away from any of that. We do big trips to culture and are in the box as well. Acting was something that I always dream of doing. I'm glad that I took up that part to get, you know, that experience. Better lame, do you have any favorite moments? The shots out on the boat. We had to get out in the middle of the stream and do the scene there, so here I am thinking if this thing tips over, oh my god. In the river when they were in the boat, I really think that that was just one of the best shots I've ever seen in film. It was just them in the boat and the, you know, the 
just the beauty of the river and the, the coast. It was, I thought it was just breathtaking. Yeah. The colors that we have in, in Guyana, the locations, some of the shots that Tim and Max have gotten that look spectacular. So that's, that's always exciting to see. Interesting cinematography. I've seen some really wide stuff on this, and I've seen some really tight. It's just cool. Like I'm interested to see how it comes out. And we've had some killer, like uh, ruining shots. From a technical point of view, we did some very interesting things, including in the second detective primer scene where Tom comes in to talk to primer. We actually have a 360 degree shot of them both talking. It just, like really pulls you in. Sir. So. He has this comfort in helping you out as a director, allowing you to feel comfortable, allowing you to feel wanted. Well, look, this is what I want you to do. You understand me? If you ain't understand me, just say, well, I don't understand. I felt comfortable working with him. Despite you don't understand him, clearly you have to watch. What is he really talking about? People say they're a true artist, but to make the sacrifices that he makes. I've come over here to Los Angeles, left Australia behind, so my house to make this film. When a person is willing to put so much on the line for something that he believes in, I will do my best to help him in any way I can. This guy's abusing me. I have to sleep in the grass. <laughs> I wake up next to the doctor. Who does that? I like the fact that he's very open. The mere fact that he brought an international crew together for somebody to pull somebody from Canada and one from the Philippines and Australia and Guyana and just put them together to uh, do a film, that I have to commend him for. I just know this is just the beginning of a very, very long and successful career for him. A lot that will go through your head on set and behind the scenes as well. He would have to process a lot of information and I think he handles it really well. Max has done his job by directing everybody else so that I can just do my specific job. Like, while you were sleeping? That's the way to be. Yeah. Big pause between the two. Right? Yeah, it's just a big pause. Well, I'm so getting arrested. Poor shot, Jordan, actually. Are you putting a hand in front of your face? I expect it to be a smash hit. I think it's going to be fabulous. It's going to be very unusual because uh, there was some wonderful scenery and settings down there. All the actors, in my opinion, did a wonderful job. I can't wait to see it. To actually see everything together, I, I can't wait. I'm excited to see how everybody sees uh, this work that's been two years in the making. Pretty much in the arts, and we're here with an Australian writer, movie director, and um, he's here creating a movie. Thanks for having me, Mark. Cheers. Uh, yeah, we're starting a process. Um, right now, we're doing all the pre-productions. Men with teeth, you sugar out your teeth. Well-known local artists are taking full advantage of the opportunities presented to them. Production for these kind of films take a long time. Yeah, I love how you said long. <laughs> no, because when you <laughs> listen to the stories, right, it's like these films are filmed like three years prior to the release date and, you know, it's a that lot of work. True. It was quite nice to watch it down in a run and realise how, how crazy this film actually is. Yeah, seeing it in the theatre was really cool. At the silent theatre, uh, hearing the surround sound mix with 100 or more people and just seeing it all come together, all our hard work kind of pay off. Watching this film on the big screen for the first time was amazing. It's the first time you see everything tied together. I mean, the, the music, the, the sound design, the color, the final cut, everything is like one piece, so it was very exciting. It was great to have many of the cast for here tonight to really showcase and see all the skills that everybody had. You know, a lot of, a lot of effort was put into some from costume design, to the color grading, to the sound design. Thank you everybody for coming along. It was a good night. It's full of some amazing artists from different categories, costume design, production design, lighting, cinematography, everything. So yeah, thanks, thanks. thank you so much, everyone. The cast and crew is really My amazing. So dedicated. One secretary is out there too uh, somewhere. Uh, 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 there she Hi. is. Stand up, yeah. sweetie. <laughs> to Cinefamily Silent Movie Theatre and you guys, thank you for being here and coming to support this amazing independent film. I want to wish everybody the best that worked on the team. Thank you to everybody involved.